Nicole, how are you doing today? I'm good, how are you? I just came by, I was in the area, and I wanted to um, drop off some coffees that I got for everyone. Oh, Administrator, that's so nice. social worker, uh, director of marketing and admissions. So, um, oh. are they here today? Yeah, yep, they're okay. all here. Can I come on back? Go right ahead. Thank you. Mm hmm. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. I was just in the area. I picked up some coffees for everyone here. That's nice. Administrator, marketing director, social worker, case manager. Um, and of course, I got one for you. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Thank you, can't, Tony. Can't, can't forget about my favorite. No. Oh, that's so nice. Nobody ever brings me anything. Yeah, is the rest that's of the nice. team here? Uh, yes, people are here. I know that Debbie, the nursing director, she's meeting with a family right now, so you might want to save her for last. She should be done in about half an hour. Excellent. Thank okay, you. Okay, sure, no problem. Yep. Hi folks, Steve the Hurricane here, and welcome to A Drink with the Hurricane. Cheers. This is one of my favorite dramatizations because it actually takes me back to my marketing roots back in 2006. It was one of those summers where it was just god awful hot. It was like 100 degrees with the heat index, 110 degrees. Like it was so hot that when you're outside and you're driving and your car sitting in traffic, you can actually see like the vapors from the road coming up in the air. And I'll never forget, I walked into a skilled nursing facility that I had been in a hundred times. And I know everybody in the account, I could walk in there freely. But before I went in for my usual weekly drop by visit to say hi, I said, you know what? I haven't done anything for my people, I haven't seen them in a while. Let me let me do something nice gesture and just say hi and, and I'll bring everybody some iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. So I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts, I picked up five iced coffees. One for the administrator, one for the social worker, one for the admissions person, one for the director of nursing, and one for the receptionist. And when I came in, I, I sat down and I said hi to her real quick and I'm signing and I'm standing there holding this tray just like Tony did. And as I'm holding the tray, she's looking at the drinks and I'm like, yeah, here, I got some iced coffees, you know, oh, that's so nice of you, you didn't have to do that. I'm like, yeah, I got one for all these people, whatever. And this one's for you at the front desk reception. And she was so overjoyed and her face lit up and she's like, that's the nicest thing. She says, you know, all day long, people have been coming in here doing the same thing because that's common practice, right? Do a nice gesture for people. And, and you can say hi to them and get to develop the relationship. And not a single person even thought to, to bring one for me. That is so nice. Thank you. You didn't have to do that. I was like, I know I didn't have to do that. I didn't do it for any reason. Didn't, you know, I see you all the time. I know you're a person too. And, and I figured that happens a lot. And we sat down, we, talk, we ended up talking for like 15 minutes. And she's the receptionist. She's the gatekeeper. She's the, the, the face of the organization and so on. And I had to make an episode about this because we can't forget our receptionist. We can't forget that front desk person who answers the phone and greets everybody. Not only are they the gatekeeper, but they are some of the nicest people, some of the hardest working people. They're probably among the lowest paid people in the account. And they know all the people that work there. You know, they're responsible for turning vendors away. They're responsible for patrolling the front area. And if, if you come in there and you really like them, and if you think about it this way, this is something I used to, I used to sit down and I would people watch, and I, I learned all this on the, on the fly. This, this, is, this is why my clients are so successful, the home care revenue builders. This is why they're so successful with following the program. I would sit there and I would watch, and every receptionist, every time I came in and I saw them, there was almost always another key contact, an admissions person, a case manager, a nurse, a therapist, or somebody who would come up and just vent and gossip with the, soul, with, the, with the front desk person. I almost felt like the front desk person was like a counselor in the building. And she knew everything that was going on in that account. I would walk in and if the state was there, she would tell me, oh, don't, don't come in today, honey. You know, the, the, the state is here. Oh, good, good, good. Or she would tell me so-and-so is not in, so-and-so is not in, but so-and-so is in, go over there. Or they're in meetings, can you come back later? Like They would actually help me try to get in the account. And that's because I treated them like a person. 
not like a, a gatekeeper, you know? It, it, it's, it's, it really is the little things. Those, those little things are what separate you from everybody else out there. And so if you're gonna drop by and you're gonna make uh, a, a nice gesture like bringing in coffee or something to all the key contacts, don't forget the front desk person. It will go over, it'll, it'll bode well for you. You make someone's day. You don't know what kind of day she's having. It could be a bad day and you just brightened it up or whatever. And, and it just, you, you, you spread a little joy in your every single day travels. And so that's the tip for you for this week. I want you to, to share what is your experience like? Have you ever done it? Have you ever been the person bringing in treats and you forgot the receptionist? Or have you been the person who brought in treats for everybody and you gave it to it? And what, what happened? I, can't, I would love to hear and see you post in the comments below what happened when you did it. Because I guarantee it's going to be something similar to what happened with me. And so remember folks, don't just beat your competition, but blow them away.